Bonjour, my name is Olivier, and this is your Wine Rendezvous. Um, a word on the different grapes that you find just, I mean, in the world there's more than 9,600 uh, different grapes, uh, different varietals and grape varieties, whatever you call them. Just be aware that, um, think of a grape just like an apple. Uh, the apple, just like the grape, is the fruit, and then within this family of fruit, you, of, uh, of, um, of apple, for instance, you have all different sorts of apples, and the green apple, uh, Granny Smith, the yellow, the red, and each come with a specific taste. Uh, for, the, for the grapes, it will be the same exact thing, uh, uh, except that you have all this huge variety. Yeah, there's a few noble uh, varietals, noble grapes that you find, uh, which represent a, a huge majority of the wines uh, made in the world today, uh, which were the most qualitative, because not all grapes are proper uh, for wine making. Not all of them will even make just good wine. Uh, so uh, historically, it's primarily, uh, sorry, I'm going to sound biased again, but primarily the, the French uh, varietal that has been uh, uh, assessed as being the most qualitative, which are the wine uh, that you see throughout the world. And when you think about it, Chardonnay, Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, all these sounds kind of French because they were originally the, the varietals that uh, you could find uh, in France. Uh, you had some Italian, for instance, uh, uh, varietals like Sangiovese and all these, uh, uh, Pinot Grigio, have been uh, relayed throughout the world, uh, even Spanish wines like uh, Grenache, Granacha in Spain, amongst others. Anyway, um, Still, to be extremely efficient and for you to get a really a, a nice little uh, toolbox, a word about the eight most common uh, grapes that you'll find commonly. Um, we'll do, uh, well, let's do just seven. Well, let's do eight, whatever. We'll do uh, three whites and four reds. Uh, Sauvignon Blanc, okay. Crisp, fresh, fruity, green fruit, uh, gooseberry, uh, great with grilled fish, okay. Um, Chardonnay, the other big name, very creamy, buttery, uh, mango, bananas, these type of aromas, a bit thicker, a bit richer. Riesling, Riesling, which is a grape, which mean many people assimilate to being a sweet wine. Riesling is a grape, so you can make it dry, you can make it sweet, depending how, how late you're going to, to harvest it. Uh, and uh, Riesling is extremely citrusy, flowers, okay, something that is very, very food friendly and will, it will work very well with, be it with Asian food or with seafood in general. Uh, really lovely. Um, another example, let's say it's a Pinot Grigio, uh, quite citrusy as well. Uh, tends to be fairly fresh. Uh, that's what also is called Pinot Gris in France or, uh, or Tokai if you're going with wines uh, from Hungary. Pinot Gris tending to be a bit, uh, a bit sweeter in general. Well, that's for the, the big whites, and I'd say the, mon you'll, the ones you'll find most, uh, the most commonly. For the reds, for the reds it's, uh, well, let's say starting with a Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir, which is very elegant, delicate, strawberry, earth, setter, truffle, something quite nice with two different expressions, really the, the burgundy style, very light, very feminine, and the uh, new world with uh, New Zealand, uh, uh, Oregon, Washington State, which frequently makes Pinot Noirs in, in a most, more masculine uh, uh, expression of it. Another one could be uh, Merlot, Merlot, very low tannins, but really, uh, really deep and, uh, and powerful, dark fruit, nice, not overly aggressive. Uh, really nice. Frequently blended with another big grape, Cabernet Sauvignon, which has very thick skin, so more tannins, really more powerful, uh, darker type of wines, uh, which is really uh, good if you like big reds. Um, and blended, for instance, like in a Bordeaux, Merlot and Cabernet are the two big grapes uh, that come blended in a Bordeaux. Another big one could be Shiraz. Huh? Shiraz, that is called Shiraz in, uh, in Australia and most of the north, uh, southern hemisphere. It's called Syrah, S-Y-R-A-H, uh, in France, for instance, like in the Rhone Valley. Uh, plum, uh, fairly sensual, a grape, um, a bit of pepper, uh, gray pepper, this type of thing. Now, always in France and in the, in the Northern Hemisphere, lighter, quite feminine, uh, leather, tobacco. In the South, in Australia, the big Shiraz, boom, kind of more in your face. Frequently good, huh? but, uh, but more powerful. Voila. And then there's uh, a, few, uh, a few thousands, but uh, I know time is money, so I'll let you run. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you very shortly on winerendezvous.com. Au revoir.